Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel, but don't just sit there, poppets. Let's have some fun. <gasps> well, what animal's this, guys? A lion. A lion, good girl. And what do you think we should put on the lion? What material? What material for the dog? That's the way. Do you think that looks a bit like Samson? Of course. Is that a good one? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. Uh -huh. Not anymore. Who's that? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. <laughs> Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson. Come on then. Clever boy. <laughs> oh, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. Oh, I think that's enough patting. To your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, Samson looks lovely and cuddly. Why don't you guys dress Claude up to look lovely, cuddly and soft? Oh, I feel like cuddling up into one of those armchairs. Come on. <laughs> oh. I love beautiful fabrics and, and things that feel soft. Oh, me too, Granny Murray. But Samson doesn't. He likes his old cotton rag. Oh, well, I suppose we all have something that gives us comfort. I don't suppose dogs are any different. Yeah, but Samson's rag's really dirty. I'd like to wash it. The trouble is, I know he likes its smell. Oh, you know, we're washing dolls' clothes later today. Maybe I could wash Samson's rag for you. That would be so kind. But Maybe Samson wouldn't like his rag after all if it was clean. Don't worry, it'll be fine. <laughs> Dirty or clean, some things are good to comfort us. Oh, look at Claude. He looks cosy enough for a hug right now. <laughs> oh, well done, cutie pies. Oh. <laughs> oh, here. Dr Juno, you take this to work with you. It'll remind you of Samson. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. It's so sweet. <laughs> right, I'll just put it in my pocket now. Right. Bye, Samson. <coughs> Bye, everyone. <coughs> See you later. Just remember, dirty or clean, some things are good for comfort. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry. How can I get to work quickly? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a tramway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points. Whining, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaker, 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 slows us down. Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street that's creaky, creaky to a stop. I'm in the need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, hurry, I need to get changed. All scrubbed and ready to go. Oh, this is the little dog Granny Murray gave me. He's so soft, just like my Samson. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, good morning, Nurse Hendry. Morning, Dr. Juno. <laughs> so I should have knocked. But please don't be embarrassed. It's such a lovely little dog. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Here, look at this. I've had this since I was a kid, and I still carry it with me now. I've played with it so much, it's gone bald. <laughs> oh, he's obviously very well loved. <laughs> it's <Just> cute. <laughs> There's a panda in the waiting room. Good morning, Doctor. He's talking to me. Oh. <laughs> Got you, Doctor Juno. <laughs> oh, Mickey John, I should have known it was you playing tricks on me. I wanted to show you this panda. He's going to be a prize in the Friends of Harlequin Hospital raffle. Oh, he's gorgeous. Yes, and so cuddly. <laughs> oh, I'll take two tickets, please. One for me, one for Samson. One. 
Two pounds, please. Okay. Here you go. Oh, you're so nice to pat, just like my Samson. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. Oh, bitch! Good boy! Let me see a nice throw, Rachel. Oh, good throw! Ready, ready, ha, 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 bitch! Bitch! Good boy! Come on, bitch! Come on! Oh, you a good boy! <laughs> Look at this, it's filthy! What's Dr. Juno going to say? I wish you could see that bitch! Dr. Juno, there's a wee boy in the examination room I think you should take a look at. Oh, thank you, Nurse Henry. I'll come right away. What's his name? Uh, Dylan. Okay. Hello, Dylan. I'm Dr. Juno. Who's this? Hello, Mr. Ted. He looks really cuddly, doesn't he? I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. What's the trouble? I'm sorry because it's touched right here. Right oh, right there? Oh, let's have a look. If you just lie down for me. There we go. Right, I'm going to have a quick feel of your tummy, OK? Ow. Ooh. Let me know if it's sore again when I take my hand away. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. Cough for me. Oh, good boy. Does it hurt when you cough? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at Mr. Teddy. Right, Nurse Hendry will take your temperature, all right? Let's see. Oh. Huh? OK. Oh, Teddy's a little hot. And so is Dylan. He's got a fever. Oh, dear. Right, Dylan. Nurse Hendry, make sure you're really comfortable. I'm going to have a word with Daddy, all right? Cool. Hi, Daddy. Hi. I think Dylan's going to need an appendix operation today. All right, OK. Hey, Dylan. You're going to need an operation today to make your tummy feel all better. You're going to get to spend a few days with us in the hospital. That's Hendry will take you to your bed in the children's ward. There's loads of fun up there. So my daddy can walk Yeah, of course your daddy can come. Oh, and Dr Marshall will make sure you get there safely. Right? I'll see you later. Wait, Dylan. Here we go. Let's go. Bye. I'll pop in and see you later. Take care. Right, now down to some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be Nurse Hendry, what a busy morning. How's young Dylan? Oh, he's all tucked up in bed on the ward. And you were right, it's his appendix. Oh, poor boy. Of course he'll be fine, Dr Juno. He's all sleepy and comfy waiting for his operation. It's a good thing you spotted what was wrong with him. Thank you, Nurse Hendry. Just doing my job. And Dylan's dad's upstairs with him, so when he wakes up afterwards, he'll be with someone he loves. Oh, that's good. Being with someone you love is the best comfort of all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know that being with Samson always comforts me. Oh, I'm busy.
busy in here today, aren't we? These dolls' clothes are filthy. Swish it round and round. Oh, really, scrub it. Get those bubbles in. And pass it on to Rachel. That's the way. Oh, that's Samson's rag. Oh, give it a good old scrub, Gary. Rub it up, rub it up. Can you grab your baskets, my wee helpers? Who's going to put this one out here? Me. Oh, well, dry in no time. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Here's your rag, darling. That's a boy. Don't worry, Samson. It'll be dry before you know it. <laughs> These fellas are heavy, oh. Dr. Hugh. I think you must have left them upstairs. Oh, let me give you a hand, Nurse Henry. Oh, I'm sorry I left them behind. I've been all over the place today. I really should be a bit more careful. No worries. I'm just off my break now. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, more files. Let's have a look. How many do we have? One, two, three... Oh, what's in here? It's very bumpy and lumpy. What are you doing in there? You're a bit grubby, though. I'm not sure you can stay in a nice, clean hospital. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. I know you're a bit grubby, but I'm sure you're very important. Hmm. Where have I seen you during my busy day? And when was it? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I took Samson round to Granny Murray's. The children were sticking fabrics onto animal shapes, and then they dressed Claude up in cuddly clothes. I showed Granny Murray Samson's dirty rag, and she offered to wash it for me. At eight o'clock, I went to work at the hospital. At nine o'clock, there was a patient waiting. His name was Dylan, and he'd brought his teddy, Mr. Ted, along to comfort him. He had had a bad tummy ache, and he'd also been feeling sick. I thought he needed an operation to have his appendix out, but I sent him upstairs to Dr. Marshall to make sure. Nurse Hendry took Dylan up to the children's ward to get him ready for his operation. At three o'clock, Nurse Hendry brought in a huge tray of files I'd forgotten. When I looked through them, I found a grubby bear. I couldn't think where I'd seen him before, but I knew he was important. Now remember, dirty or clean, some things are good for comfort. I know who you are. You're Dylan's bear, Mr. Ted. Oh, Dylan's going to wake up from his operation soon and he's going to want you there, Mr. Ted. Oh, but you're a bit grubby for me to take you up to the children's ward. I'm going to have to clean you up myself. I'm going to have to do it before Dylan wakes up. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on Before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna, do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish Look who's come to see you, Dylan. Mr. Ted. Yay. How are you Hi. feeling? Uh, much more better. Good. I'm glad you're on the mend. See ya. Bye-bye. Hey. Oh, another bear in my office. And a friendly one too. This is my new home. What do you mean, Mr. Panda? Congratulations! You won this panda in the raffle, Dr. Juno. Oh, Mickey John, he's beautiful. Hello, Mr. Panda. Oh. Oh, but I think he should go to a child. I'd like to give him to your Rebecca. <gasps> Dr. Juno, how kind! Oh, thank you so much. Rebecca will love cuddling this panda. Oh. See you, Mickey John. After all, I've got my own cuddly friend. Samson. Oh, I 
I think a doll's clothes are dry now, darlings. That's the way. Pop them in the basket. Clever girl. Oh, that Samson's rag, isn't it? Smell that, Rachel? Is it nice and clean? Oh, that's much better, Samson. Dr. Juno will be pleased with us. You know, come our way through and you come. <laughs> come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Oh, hi. Good boy. Look at that wagging tail. Oh, he was fabulous. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Dirty or clean, some things are good to comfort us. It saved the day. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be all. Come on, boy. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, making, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flight, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in cuddly clothes because we were making soft toy animals with scraps of fabric and card. Dr. Juno arrived with Samson and his favourite rag, but it was very dirty. So in the afternoon, the children and I washed Samson's rag through in warm, soapy water. The children pegged the doll's clothes on the line and pegged Samson's rag on the line too. <laughs> Dr. Juno was also washing at the hospital. She was washing Mr. Ted for Dylan, who had to have an operation. Mr. Ted really cheered Dylan up. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs>